Hello and welcome to the Energy Connect studio at Adipec 2024. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me today in the studio, Samar Abdul Samad, the President and CEO of Nesma and Partners. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. To start off, how is Nesma and Partners actively contributing to the Saudi Vision 2030 uh, through innovative and sustainable energy solutions as well as decarbonization? Sure. Well, uh, Nesma and Partners was established 41 years ago. We started in 1981 as a civil contractor and we evolved to become uh, a general contractor that is covering the full spectrum. We do infrastructure buildings and of course energy, which is the part you're asking about. Uh, we've definitely been increasing our capabilities and capacities. We have delivered over 200 projects. Out of these, lately, we have delivered 10 projects that are green projects, contributing and being certified as sustainability. We are currently executing 17 projects that are also green and will be receiving sustainable uh, sustainability certification. We started the green initiative mm -hmm. in the company where we have planted already 15,000 trees. This year alone, we've planted 5,000 trees and we have 4,000 trees still to be completed by the end of the year. We've also done an initiative where we have applied uh, solar uh, energy or solar power uh, exercise, where we've done it on one of our temporary facilities, which we're hoping if we find it successful to probably replicate that across all, all our facilities across the kingdom which will help us a lot in reducing the reliance on traditional energy and relying on solar energy. So uh, with that in mind, I mean, I think this is a great initiatives that we're conducting. And I think Nesma and Partners, globally, I think you hit the headlines with your strategic acquisition of Kent. What are your thoughts and uh, how has it enabled Nesma and Partners to sort of expand your product offerings across the energy value chain? Sure. You know, the acquisition of Kent started first by uh, when Aramco selected us as an EPC champion. We partnered on a JV with uh, Kent to be able to deliver on the EPC champion program. Because Kent brings to the table of Nesma and Partners the engineering, the project management, the, com uh, the completion commissioning startup, as well as the operation and maintenance. So with Kent, we're able to deliver the full supply or the full life cycle of a project rather. And uh, this is how the whole opportunity started. I think with Kent, we will be able to deliver on many complex and more big, I mean, bigger projects. We'll be able to particularly deliver on the energy and the renewable energy part, having their expertise on board with us. So we're very happy with the acquisition and we hope we'll be able to grow together and I think you touched on the, the creation of energy infrastructure. Uh, how are you amplifying on that, especially when it comes to your partnership with uh, Aramco? Yeah, our partnership with Aramco goes back a long time. I mean, we, it's almost since our inception we started the Aramco. And uh, we have delivered many of the projects that contributed to uh, the uh, uh, vision of uh, Saudi Aramco as well, which is, of course, the vision of 2030. We've worked on the Merjan uh, increment program. We've worked on the Fadili gas increment program. We're currently working on two of the uh, master gas programs or packages where we will be delivering over 500 kilometers of gas pipelines for the, the uh, master gas program. We're also trying to pursue uh, both uh, liquid to chemical projects with Saudi Aramco as well as the carbon capture. So we're deeply engaged with Saudi Aramco. We find them to be one of our most prestigious and critical clients, to be honest. And I think with Kent as well on board, we'll be able to deliver our, our, our any more on that. We're waiting currently to be awarded, hopefully, the first EPC uh, uh, feed or pre-feed uh, package. And over and above, through the EPC Champion Program, will be able to contribute a lot to the local content. You know, as you know, part of the program's requirement is to establish a local center of excellence. Right. And with the uh, 
Kent acquisition and the expertise will be able to create an engineering center of excellence that will be contributed to the local content. Of course, other than that, we're also currently contributing at 97% localized procurement. And we are having an initiative where we're training mm -hmm. local vendors and suppliers to assist in them contributing to the local content, how they can improve their local content. We also started another initiative with Termim, who's an uh, entity that uh, we're delivering to the needy, right. uh, where we are sponsoring entrepreneurs to be able to deliver and we're testing them on this program so that hopefully we can take them afterwards and let them contribute to our projects. Now, one of the uh, other areas where you're also expanding is, is in renewables and how are you investing in, in integrated renewable uh, technologies? I think between the two organizations, I think the contribution is a lot. Of course, I'm not going to talk about Kent. Kent are here today and John will be able to elaborate a bit more for sure. However, the initiatives that I already spoken about earlier, like the green initiative, the uh, solar uh, power initiative related to all our uh, facilities, going capturing the uh, liquid to chemical, hopefully projects and carbon capture, will definitely be able to contribute a lot. Plus, of course, the localization initiative. Right. And finally, we are here at Adipec. Uh, what are your thoughts as being a part of the world's largest energy event? Well, it's amazing. I mean, uh, for us, this is the first year that we actually exhibit uh, in it, and we really find great added value. We see all of our partners here, all of our clients are here. So I think it gives a headway as to what are the potentials, what are the new opportunities available, where are we going, and to also look for partnerships that can add value and technologies that are available because you can see many people are exhibiting what they are coming up with as far as technology is concerned to add. We visited the AI section which is amazing, I mean it's really fantastic what they are uh, uh, exploring and how you will be able to integrate the AI into the construction industry is just amazing. So now it's a very great experience, hopefully we'll be doing it again next year. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure to have you in the studio with us. Thank you and appreciate your hosting. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching and you can follow our coverage on social media and at energyconnects.com. I'll be back with more studio interviews. Until then, goodbye.